Hello, I'm Professor Wool, and today we'll discuss how to share network security information with a wider IT community using team collaboration tools. So, um, imagine we have an organization uh, that has a sophisticated network security policy management system, an NSPM, uh, that is connected to the security infrastructure, it connects to the routers, firewalls, and is able to simulate the traffic and uh, respond to uh, queries such as uh, is traffic allowed from point A to point B using some protocol and the system would simulate the traffic and provide the answer whether traffic is allowed or not. Uh, this, this type of system is usually uh, owned by people with the appropriate credentials, uh, typically in the security organization. Um, and so they have access to this uh, uh, type of capability. However, there are other people in the organization that might have, might benefit from the access. Um, imagine you have a, a team collaboration tool at your disposal and the IT operations people use it to troubleshoot uh, uh, problems in the network. Uh, so imagine uh, user Jane logging on to this channel and saying the trading system is down, uh, I bet it's the firewall. A typical suspicion, maybe somebody misconfigured the firewall and broke something. Um, so user David jumps in and says, let me check. How would David check? Well, David is not part of the security team. David does not have access to this uh, system, so he needs to contact his colleagues that do have access. So he would either send them an email, uh, call them on the phone, um, and ask, is, is this traffic uh, allowed or not? Uh, assuming you can get the right person uh, to respond quickly, that person would use the NSPM, uh, use the user interface, uh, type in the uh, requested query, the system comes back with the answer, let's say that the traffic is allowed, and then David reports back to his colleagues and moves on. And this is all fine and good, except that there are two humans in the loop here and uh, it might take them um, a little bit of time to react. Maybe they're not at their desk, who knows? Um, so the process can be streamlined. Well, user Jill jumps in and says, well, it's 2018, never mind all those old uh, uh, phone technologies and types in the question, hey bot, is HTTP allowed from this address to that address? What's this bot thing? Well, a good NSPM exposes an API that is able to run these queries automatically and provide the answers in machine readable form. And it's possible to build a bot that runs inside the channel, an automatic bot that responds to this English language question uses the API to run the traffic simulation query, get the result back, and format the output inside the channel in uh, clearly understandable terms. Here it says, yes, traffic is allowed. So uh, user Jane, our suspicious user to begin with, can say, ah, okay, so it's not the firewall's fault, it's something else, maybe it's the database, maybe it's something else, and so the uh, troubleshooting um, uh, scenario continues to resolution. What, what is the point here? The point is that using this API and exposing the capabilities of the NSPM to uh, bots running inside the collaboration channel, the same information that was retrieved using manual uh, human re uh, uh, reliant uh, uh, methods is now made available through an API call almost instantaneously without waiting for the person on the other end to react. So the whole procedure of troubleshooting becomes much much faster and I leave it to your imagination to think about other types of scenarios where in such a channel you will benefit from having access to such network simulation capabilities uh, to achieve some other task that a team needs to address. Thank you for your attention.